Hey everyone, I am Mr. Alper and today I am going to show you how to fix GTA Vice City mouse not working problem or you can also say how to fix GTA Vice City mouse problem. So let me show you what I am talking about. So as you can hear, I hope you are able to hear my mouse click. No matter how many times I click on any of these options, it's not taking. So today I am going to show you how to fix this problem. Welcome back. This problem is very simple. You don't have to do much. Okay. Just you have to do is open your install location wherever you install your GTA Vice City. I have a shortcut key on my desktop, so I'm going to open my install location directly from here. Okay. So to open the file location, there will be an option if you having a shortcut key on your desktop or somewhere else. In Windows 10, this option is at top. But if you are using Windows 7, 8 or earlier version of Windows, this option will be uh, right here somewhere, okay? Select the GTA Vice City exe file, right click, go to properties and click on it and go to compatibility option. You can open this properties option directly from keyboard also. Just select the exe file that you want to open properties, press alt, press enter and this properties option will going to pop up. Okay now go to compatibility option. I know lots of you didn't have this compatibility option and I don't have any idea why you guys are not having this option. So for those of you I will suggest you to reinstall your windows or fix your windows, replace your windows. So please fix this problem by yourself. I can't explain the step to fix it in this video because this video is not about it. Okay, now just you have to do is wait a minute. Okay, now just you have to do is select this option run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 98 or Windows Me. This is important if you even select Windows XP Service Pack 2 there will be some bug that's why i'm suggesting you to select this windows 98 slash windows me click on apply and click on ok there's one more thing i want to explain now whenever you open this game again you will going to find that your save file is no more in load option or load uh, save game option this is because you changed your compatibility option due to some reason i don't know why but due to some reason after you selecting this option it will going to remove that old save file that you were having before you selected this option you can have that save file again after you and select this and click on apply and ok you will going to find your save file is back so you have to think about it do you want save file or not because i don't know where is the save file of this game most of you are going to search me to go to documents and you will going to find that there is no save file if i even delete this uh, gta varsity user files it will still going to show my old save file there is some other location where this game saved their files i am not here to explain where is your save file i hope you are understanding what i am trying to say okay so let me check did i uncheck yeah okay so as you can see i selected windows 98 slash windows me and click on apply and ok now my game will going to work but after doing this your game will going to start after uh, 10 20 second later it's supposed to open like that don't worry it is normal
as you can see now my mouse is working as it's supposed to be okay i had done this game i had played th uh, this game before in this compatibility option that's why i have this option damn it Vesetti. I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovel sh** in my face. Go get some sleep. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out. So as you can see now I can move my mouse. Let me show you more. As you can see I can still move my mouse Okay I can use my punches Okay So I hope this video worked for you Let me tell you I already made a lots of video on this GTA Vice City problems You can watch all those video from description box below Links are in description box below Okay let me tell you what are the videos that I already made before. Uh, first one is how to run GTA Vice City on Windows 10. In that video, I explained everything. In second video, I shown you how to fix GTA Vice City requires at least DirectX version 8.1 error. Third video is how to fix Vice City cannot find 640 into 480 video mode error. And fourth video is how to fix the code execution cannot proceed because mss32.dll not found or missing either. I already made a playlist so please consider watching that video okay if you having those problem I wish you don't have but if you having feel free to watch those videos and yeah I am ending this video here okay. Click on like button to show me your support. Comment below if you are having any problem regarding this video. I will try my best to help you. Share this video to your friend, to your family, whoever you like to share. At last, make sure to click on subscribe button for more videos like this. If you are not subscribed my channel, then I won't able to help you in Facebook. So please subscribe my channel. I am noticing you guys are just subscribing my YouTube channel, not my Facebook fan page mr facebook fan page all the social links in description box below please go and like my mr facebook fan page follow me on twitter instagram all these social links are in description box below that's all take care have a nice day and i will see you next time bye